Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 more minutes. I thought I was going to say Thunder Chief build an action, didn't you? Oh no, 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 you're wrong. Because today is Richard Bean's birthday, so we got 10 minutes of birthday party action going on. Happy birthday, Richard. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys something I have not showed a lot of people. Just when you think I showed you guys everything, I'm going to whoop one out on you. Alright? What's up, Richard? Happy birthday. <laughs> I am going to show you how to take a ordinary Twinkie and turn it into a birthday Twinkie. <laughs> okay. First thing you need. This is rule number one. I learned this from my daughter as she's grown up. If you want a birthday party or birthday cake, it's got to have sprinkles on it. Okay. So you, might, you gotta very carefully place these sprinkles on there. See? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're going on. We got it going on now. Oh, I forgot something. Yeah. There. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got something for you, Richard. I got you a birthday hat. <laughs> okay. You got to put your birthday hat on. There you go. <laughs> oh, I got you something else. I got you something else. There you go. You can sit and blow this now. <laughs> Okay, now, we're rolling, okay. Now Richard, you're turning 50, all right? There's just no way I'm gonna get 50 candles on that little cake. <laughs> on our little Twinkie cake, Let's see. So this one represents the big five, okay? This one represents the O. <laughs> okay, bam. Now just when you think it's done, oh no. You gotta whoop out the little birthday surprise. Look at that. It says happy birthday. And it's shiny. It's shiny, man. Okay. There you go, Richard. That's when you think I'm gonna I'm gonna sing you happy birthday. <laughs> that's where you're wrong, buddy. Uh, that's not man enough in the shop. What I will do is sing you a song from a hero of a hero of mine. Alright? Who's that man riding in the sun? Who's that man with the shiny gun? Who's that man who kills for fun? Shot his wife cause she weighed a ton. Psycho dad, psycho dad, psycho dad. <laughs> All right, man, we got our party on now. All right, now. Show you what you do now and see if this birthday Twinkie did his job. So I'm gonna eat it. You know, tastes like a birthday Twinkie. Mmm, <laughs> that's kind of good actually. Alright. Now the party ain't over yet. We got some goodies for you. We got your little birthday present there, Richard. Alright, hope you like the fancy wrapping job. We can put your birthday, your happy birthday deal on it. That's shiny, man. That's full of diamonds. <laughs> Real ones. <laughs> Real dollar store <laughs> Okay, so I'll look on the t-shirt. See what you got for your birthday. Oh, look, Richard got a t-shirt. 
You got you a B1 model project t-shirt, Richard. Alright. That's cool. I like this color. That's my favorite color out of all of them. Alright. Richard got a t-shirt. Alright. Oh, well, there's something else in here. Oh, look. I got you a little sticker. Star of Abilene. Bob Moore. Camlax had these made up for me. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, there's something else in here. Look at this. Whoo, look at that bumper sticker. Okay, you might think, well, that's just an ordinary old bumper sticker. Uh-uh. This is a one-of-a-kind bumper sticker. This is the only one you will ever see of this. She just... Monica Camlax had one made. Okay, and this is it. The one this has got to be worth like a million dollars. <laughs> it is very rare. There is only one. And it's yours, Richard. You got it for you for your birthday. Look at that. It's got the it's got the real B1 and the model B1. There I am in Texas at Butch's house. There we are, test flying the 16. That's the T-45 at Dias, sitting next to the real one. Oh, there's that pretty old F-4. That's where we made modeling history right there. We got invited to that big old government wing ding at Dias. Remember that? Oh, yeah, then there's another little Star of Abilene sticker there. Be when Bob flies Camlax jets, baby. Ten minutes at a time. <laughs> All right, Richard. Happy birthday. Hey, send me your address. Use and your wife's shirt sizes. I'll send out two shirts. Your address and shirt size, buddy. And your wife. And uh, we'll get them sent out to you. By the way, your Twinkie is delicious. Okay. Y'all got your party on? We're going to be partying all day for Richard. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to warn you guys, okay? Some of this might seem a little crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> it's all good. All right. We're going to break out the tequila later. <laughs> We're going to party all day for Richard. <laughs> okay, hey, let's go over this. Okay, this one guy sent me this message. You know, it sounded like a pretty good idea. He said, why don't I just drop this back in that mold? Okay. Well, it, it sounds like a pretty good idea. But the only deal is, <coughs> I cut these bulkheads. I really didn't cut them to be an exact fit back in the mold. And it's pretty close, man. Plus, I reprimered it after I did all this. So, you know, it don't fit exactly. It fits almost real good. There's a little bit of a gap right there. I'm afraid it ain't much. It's just a little bit. And if I clay that up and, and resin it, then when I pull it out to make my mold, this lip, it's going to have a lip on it right there. You know, and my part will actually be set in a little bit. So what I'll end up with is this fiberglass will be too long. I just don't know how good that would work needs to be closer on them sides I got another idea that I think is going to work I ain't given up on this yet because it fits pretty good might be able to take some double face tape and stick it in there but then that's going to even put me farther away and I don't want to drill no holes in my mold I don't want to wet trash this mold Okay, you know, people, some people might not want to open a canopy. 